People are always asking me what equipment to buy for their kitchens, especially people starting off uh, fresh. And my advice is always to think about what you're buying and to get the right thing once. Otherwise, you can end up buying three different pepper grinders because the first one was junk and the second one was junk and the third one, maybe finally you got it. Um, with basic measuring things, these are really staples. We don't always measure when we're cooking, but when we do, say for baking, it's important that they measure well. So here are some things you need. First of all, measuring spoons. I wish I had an example of a really bad one because they're out there. Big plastic clunky things on a ring. Um, they're really a pain or funny shaped ones. I don't find them useful. I have two sets here. One is round like this and they come on these hooks, okay? My first recommendation is get them off the hooks because you can, you know, when I want this eighth of a teaspoon, I probably don't want this one. You never need all of them at once. So, lose the ring. Um, and these are okay, you know, they're handsome, round, they're gonna last forever, but this is the trouble. Why don't the spice people and the teaspoon people get together? So, what I found are some rectangular ones like this. Now look at that. Oh, sweet. It even goes into a box of baking soda. So I love these, and as you can see, I've separated them. The other thing I like about them um, is that if I'm using the same one, if I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then half a teaspoon of ginger, I can use the same one and eyeball it. So that's useful. The same is true of measuring cups. Why do I have this here, you wonder? I wonder, how did it ever get into this house? Not by me. And it's going out this afternoon. <laughs> but it's useful to show you. This, first of all, I don't like anything plastic. It doesn't make me feel good to touch it. The color is loud and I need something better quality to make my long hours in the kitchen feel nicer. And the other problem with it is the shape. This is a one cup measure useful only for one cup because I can't eyeball half a cup in here. If I only go halfway, this is smaller than that. That's why, plus plastic, you don't really want to be dumping boiling water into plastic repeatedly. So these stainless steel ones are great. So this is a one cup measure, but because the sides are straight, I can easily see where half a cup is and three quarters of a cup is. So for flour, you know, sugar, this much the sugar here, this much sugar there, it's useful for more than one measure. That's great. And you can also use it on the stove to melt butter if you want to. That's for dry ingredients most of the time. You also need to have liquid measuring cups. You want them to be a glass that can handle heat so that they're not breaking if you're pouring, if you're pouring uh, boiling water in. It's nice to be able to see the liquid in these. And um, you want it to be a really sturdy glass because often you're pouring hot stock in there or boiling water or, and you don't want plastic either because again, that boiling water continuously in plastic, don't like. And the other thing I really wish more people would embrace uh, is kitchen scale. Um, the digital ones are good because they can be really precise. That's the only time I will bless anything digital, believe me. Um, but it makes life so easy. You push it to the zero button, and if you're making a cake, you put in the flour, then you push it back to zero, you can add the sugar. It just, it's so unmessy, you don't need any of this stuff at that point, just one scale. And especially with something like butter, say you get a piece that's irregular. I mean, maybe I could eyeball, but if I had a big chunk of butter, how am I gonna really know what a third of a cup is? And I'm not about to start squishing it into one of these and then getting it out. So if you just know the weight of how much you need, you put it on the scale, boom, measured. And no mess. So those are a few things that for measuring tools I like to have. Get the right one the first time and you'll never have to get a set again.